1949, a great controversy arose around a man named Bruno Gruning, who became known in the media as a miracle healer. Thousands of people came to him from many different cities around Germany. Again and again, people kept talking about the incredible healings. Even people diagnosed as incurable by physicians swore to his miracle working powers. My name is Richard Leo, and I want to talk to you about one of the most important topics of the 21st century, spiritual healing. The pictures you have just seen document the work of one of the most outstanding men of the 20th century, Bruno Gruning. Healings like these are still occurring in the Bruno Gruning circle of friends, one of the largest groups in the world for spiritual healing. The Medical Scientific Group, an international association of medical doctors, documents these outstanding cases of healing. They hold public lectures about these fascinating results in more than 60 countries. For example, the University of Tucson co-sponsored two of these lectures. Not say, oh, there is a German physician and some others they speak Up to now, more than 100,000 people have attended these lectures that were given the title Healing the Spiritual Way through the teachings of Bruno Gruning, medically verifiable. These medical doctors do their international work free of charge during their holidays and leisure time. In 1992, the medical scientific group of the Bruno Gruning Circle of Friends was founded. Today, this group includes about 6,000 medical doctors and other healthcare professionals in 60 different countries. These healings, which occur in our time, are proven and documented by medical doctors and specialists in international working circles and in medical communities. Due to the large amount of these impressive healings, communities have been established worldwide where people learn how to experience help and healing according to the teachings of Bruno Gruning, regardless of their religion, country, or profession. All activities are free of charge, and all the helpers, even the physicians, do this work voluntarily. Who was Bruno Gruning? He was born in 1906 in Gdansk, which was then a part of Germany. In 1949, a Mr. Hulsman and his wife invited Bruno Gruning to help their nine-year-old son who was suffering from muscular dystrophy. There wasn't any doctor or professor then who could help them. When Bruno Gruning came to their house, their son Dieter, who was bedridden, was able to get up and start walking again. The parents were deeply touched by this healing and told many people about this. Not long after this, thousands of people gathered in front of the Hulsman house, waiting for their own personal healings. What did Bruno Gruning do? He never touched anyone and he never treated anyone. He simply spoke from a balcony and said, I don't tell you anything new. I just want to inform you about the most important thing in life you have forgotten. There is a higher force which you can't see, but it exists and helps and heals. Everyone can easily absorb it. God sends this force for everybody, regardless of their religion. It is the divine or healing power. You can call it life energy. 
I call it the healing stream. If you get to know the forgotten laws of this force again, you can use it for free at any time and place for your personal health and benefit. It is very simple to absorb the healing stream according to the teachings of Bruno Gruning. I remember listening to a radio show in Buffalo, New York, and the host of the program was speaking with a medical doctor in Germany about a public lecture to be held at the University of Buffalo Medical School. I attended this lecture, and while I was there, I experienced something very extraordinary. By absorbing the healing stream, all the diseases I had for years in my life were gone. I'm so grateful for this gift of health. Therefore, I'm standing here before you and I'm asking you to prove for yourself what you have seen and heard. Mr. Gruning said, It is not necessary that you believe me, but you have a duty to convince yourself. Thank you.